Hello and welcome to our video on top tips for successful breeding. The Council is committed to supporting our vibrant community and voluntary sector through our VCS team and also through our other partners. We have listened to your concerns around the need for applying for funds. I am pleased to offer our bespoke service of our community bid writer advisor, Rachel Akindeli. Rachel comes with a wealth of experience in supporting VCS groups in bid writing. So in addition to the one-to-one -one support and workshop that Rachel is offering, we hope that you find this top tip video beneficial and fun. Our colleagues from Metro Gauss will also say a few words of what service they can offer. Please feel free to contact them for any of your needs around governance, constitution, policy, and making your voice heard. Their contact details will be shared at the end of the video. We are keen to hear from all community groups, so please share all your ideas with me, the VCS team, Metro Gavs, on how we can work together. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rachel Akindale, and I'm the community bid writer here at the Royal Borough of Greenwich. Funding is vital. It helps you with your running costs, allows your organisation to keep afloat, and most importantly, allows you to further your charitable cause. Knowing how to secure funds will help you with this. There is no guarantee that you will be awarded funding. However, in this guide, I'll be sharing with you some top tips that will help you when you're applying for funding and will increase your chances of being awarded that grant. Before you start applying, there are a couple of things that you want to bear in mind. Ask your community, do a survey, do a questionnaire, speak to your community to find out what their needs are. A constitution or any other governing document for your organisation, a set of accounts and ensuring you have the right policies such as health and safety, safeguarding, and public liability. So you've seen a fund you want to apply for, but you have to ask yourself, do I meet the requirements? Make sure you read through the requirements. It's a waste of time applying for a fund or a bid where you do not meet the requirements. Funders have a set of guidelines where they outline the value of the grant, who it's targeted at, the deadline, and a lot more. So before you consider applying, ensure that you meet these requirements before you apply. Ensure you establish whether or not you meet the criteria. If you do, then go ahead and apply. Whether this is your first time applying or you've been met with a lot of rejections, the only way you're ever going to secure a bid is if you apply. Once you've established that you do meet the requirements, you want to read through the questions thoroughly. Ensure you understand the question. If needs be, rephrase the question so this will help with your understanding. Highlight keywords such as demonstrate, outline and show. If English isn't your first language, then have someone who is more confident in English help you to understand the question. Structuring what you write is vital. Please note, funders receive a lot of applications, so it's important that you get the structure right. A good structure will have the following. Stick to the funder's question when describing what outcomes you will aim to achieve. Demonstrate clearly who will benefit and the need for what you will do. State clearly the plan you will follow to achieve your outcomes. Set out a clear budget how you will measure the impact of what you will do. Demonstrate the outcomes and what success would look like. Answer the question directly. This might sound silly, but make sure you're answering the question. Sometimes we can go off on a tangent and start to waffle and do not actually answer the question. Avoid jargon. Read your answers back to yourself aloud to ensure that it makes sense. Also, have somebody read your answers for you. Ensure that you're checking your grammar, spelling and punctuation. If you're writing your application and you get a bit stuck, 
pick up the phone or send an email. Most major funders have a designated team that can help you when you're applying. Also contact MetroGavs. They have a wealth of knowledge and will be happy to be of help. We support you on a huge range of issues. We work with you on the fundraising biz. MetroGavs will help you whatever. So please do just ring us or send us an email. If we don't know the answer, we know somebody who does know the answer and we will support you to improve. Ask your friends and family to also help you. You can even contact your board of trustees or contact me. The length of a bid can vary. Always set yourself a provisional deadline before the actual deadline. You could create a basic timetable to keep track of your progress and ensuring that you won't miss the deadline. There will be bids that you win and bids that you might lose. Doubting yourself will not secure you a grant. To secure a grant, you want to attempt to apply. Throughout the year, I am going to be hosting a series of workshops that will help you learn how to write a successful funding bid. Please do keep your eye out and I hope to see you at one or even more of these workshops. If you're a small group and need one-to-one -one support, please do get in contact with me.